Hello everyone. I want to introduce you to my 24 volt system. I'm currently using two ProStar 30 amp PWM Gen 2 Morningstar charge controllers. First, right out the gate, I want to say thank you to Chris from Morningstar. I had some queries and some questions. I emailed him and he responded promptly. So all my questions have been answered. All my problems have been solved and my system is working tip top. So thanks to you, Chris. Excellent job, excellent customer service. Next thing, these controls are perfect. They are PWM, they are perfect. I live in Barbados. We have sunshine all year round. It's just after 9 a.m. I am at 28.6, which is like that from just around 8 in the morning. It starts like that. And it's like this, that. I, I don't have enough loads Currently with my inverter, because I have a 500 watt inverter that power all my lights, television, laptop, ceiling fans, and not even that energy can stop this from running at 28.5 and up. That's how much sunshine we get here in Barbados. Beautiful. Today is kind of cloudy, but still getting good. Still getting good. Let's assure a little more here. I have two separate arrays that feed these charge controllers separately. So each of these charge controllers have its own separate PV input array. The first one comes in and goes here. The second one comes in and it goes here. These are two 30 amp midnight solar breakers the positive from the solar panel goes in the positive on the midnight solar breaker because that's the side with the greatest potential which is the solar so it goes in the positive on the midnight solar breaker out and it goes in here now to the positive on the charge controller solar input same thing here the next the next set of, of PV arrays in to the positive, out, and goes to the next charge controller, solar input. You come out with the positive for the battery, down, and it goes in a midnight solar bus bar. The same thing goes for the next one, in, into the bus bar. One cable come out into this midnight solar worker and then out to my bus bar and then off to the batteries at present i have 1020 amp hour battery bank which is currently doing good at the present moment they're all trojan trojan batteries I will do another video on that another day so you see what my battery bank looks like and all flooded batteries this is where my PV negatives are combined same thing comes in the negative for the battery goes in to a bus bar same here comes down into a bus bar and then one cable now comes out and goes to my negative bus bar then off to the battery that's how my system is set up a simple simple setup simple and very effective all of my metals are earth this is earth come to here earth here and then go on to my earth bar same thing here same with the inverter here Everything's all earth together. 
everything is all earth here and then it comes in connects to my earth rod on the outside Here the fan running on the inverter. This area here it gets around 28, 28 degrees Celsius. So basically, yes, that's it. I say it's a easy setup. Not complete at all. I have to do some more work to it. I want to add another. PWM, I have it set up here for another PWM. I'm gonna put some additional evening panels because I find that I miss a lot of the evening sun. So this here is for another PWM and for evening panels. It's gonna work the same way. Come in to a 30 amp out into the same here into the solar connection and then to the bus bar positive to the bus bar negative bus bar positive to the battery bank bus bar negative to the battery bank easy setup well i hope you, hope you like what you see and you learn something feel free to ask me any questions no problem at all this is my chart that I did up on the computer, got it printed and laminated and I posted it here so that I can have my figures easy access. So, you know, it's doing good. The inverter is doing good. Right, hope you like it. See you next time.